Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On and this is Monday's edition of Tottenham Transfer Talk. I'm surprised, I'll be honest, rumours are a little bit thin on the ground, but let's pick out the best three, the things that I, the ones that I think are potentially most likely, starting once again with Fulham's Moussa Dembele. The Evening Standard have said that we are now favourites to sign the 19-year-old striker from Championship side Fulham. Now, we've talked about him a lot. He strikes me as potentially very much a Tottenham Hotspur signing. However, also, Palace, Crystal Palace and Manchester United are interested, as are Monaco in League One in France. Uh, so it's interesting to me why Evening Standards say that we're now favourites. They say that we're into four to one favourites to get his signature. I wonder whether Paul Mitchell has been talking to him behind the scenes. Obviously his contract runs out in the summer. That strikes me like a more obvious choice. I don't think a 19 year old championship player is necessarily going to be the striker to come in and take the weight off Harry Kane this January. But who knows, maybe even we could sign him as we did Deli Ali last January and loan him back to Fulham. That's a possibility. I'm going to raise my likelihood rating of this signing happening because of this story to a three and a half slash four out of five. I think it could happen if we can hold off the likes of Monaco and Manchester United from beating us to his signature. Second bit of news today comes from over the weekend. The Daily Mirror say that we're in for Loic Remy on loan from Chelsea to take some of that weight, as I mentioned before, off Harry Kane and give Harry Kane a chance to get a few more rests in. Yesterday against Leicester, of course, Hung Min Son played up front. I think he did okay, he ran the channels, but he's not gonna be the player you can play your mid-range balls into the chest of, into the feet of, and he's certainly not gonna win any flick-ons against big centre-half. So Loic Remy, to me, sounds like a decent option. However, also in their piece, the Mirror say that Chelsea have absolutely zero interest in letting Spurs take their reserve striker off them on loan. And to me, that makes perfect sense. I can't see why Chelsea would want to deal with Spurs. I can't see why Chelsea would want to le lessen their own squad depth to benefit Spurs is when Spurs are doing so much better than Chelsea this season. So to me, the likelihood of this happening, I'm going for two out of five. Loic Remy to Spurs, two out of five. No chance as far as I'm concerned. Finally today, another one that we brought up a lot, Federico Fazio, lots of reports all over the internet that he is closing in on his move back to Seville where he was previously captain and did win the Europa League. To me, it's a no brainer. It's a five out of five possibility. Uh, we accepted a bid from West Brom back in August. Seville were interested, but they couldn't do the deal. And he's not getting a game. He's not even in the squads. He hasn't played, I don't think, since he had an absolute shocker against Arsenal in the League Cup. So if we can get anywhere near the five million that I think we're hoping for for Federico Fazio, we'll say thank you, Federico. You weren't quite suited to the Premier League, but go back to Spain where I think we all know you're much more suited to the slightly less pacey style of play out there. Anyway, guys, let us know what you thought of those transfer rumours in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Come on, you Spurs. Anyway, more importantly, like I said, we're still in the cup and there were some good performances out there today. I thought Kevin Vimmer looked good. I 